Department's always had sort of a big vision. We have our finger on the pulse of what's important in nuclear energy today. We're training the new leaders, the next set of leaders in all of these areas. Helping people grow, helping people learn, and at the same time doing world-class research. Good people with good ideas being able to work as a team really allows us to tackle very large problems on a national or international scale. Well, I think the key to our national reputation as a department is the people here. Get top people to work as faculty, recruit top-notch students in the program, and give them what they need to essentially be successful and, and be excellent. We attract some of the best researchers to become faculty and scientists here, but, but our biggest turnover is in the students, and we attract the best undergraduate students to become our graduate students. It's the students, right? So we're training the new leaders, the next set of leaders in all of these areas. Undergraduates can do much more than they realize. We always say to our undergraduates, we're not going to tell you what you can't do. We're going to tell you what you're going to do. And they become leaders by being willing to take on big challenges and assuming that that's natural to being a good engineer. UW-Madison's nuclear engineering program has been ranked one, two, or three for decades. What we're known for in reactor engineering, fission reactor engineering, and plasma science and fusion. We've got a breadth of experience that a lot of places don't have. Our students study neutronics, they study heat transfer, they study nuclear materials. The addition of the engineering mechanics faculty allows us sort of a window into insights in different research areas that we can bring back into ours. Uh, all of our students get very connected with the experiments and the theory. They get their hands dirty and so they learn how to do things that other students don't and Wisconsin's known for that. We try to blend what's going on at the graduate level and graduate research with what's going on with the undergraduate education. We try to involve our undergraduates in research opportunities or to go to laboratories or industry where they can get exposure to new problems, new ideas new issues. They understand and are responsible for f very complex facilities and very complex experiments. We have quite a few facilities here that make us stand out from other departments. We have a reactor here, it's a one megawatt thermal trigger reactor, and there's a few of those around the country. That, that real world experience, that first hand where you can actually get your hands on the knobs and see what happens is, is really very important to the, the deep intuitive sense of what's going on in a reactor. So the students learn how to operate facilities, they learn how to design facilities, they learn how to keep them running, they learn how to think about them in a global way. We have facilities for low temperature plasma diagnostics with Professor Herskowitz. We have an accelerator which is used for both materials research and for uh, physics research. We have fusion experiments like Pegasus that are um, as good as I get at any university and sometimes better. We do at a smaller scale the exact same science and engineering that they do at the national scale, but the students do it. And our goal is to have the students in the decision-making process and as colleagues as soon as they are able. Our students learn exactly the same operational procedures in science that they take right to the big national labs. And see the things that are going on in the community with the top quality research we're doing here, they are interacting with the top researchers in the country. We do have strong uh, ties to, I think, every national lab. Uh, my group in particular has ties to Oak Ridge, Idaho, Argonne, Los Alamos. And it's important for a couple reasons. In a lot of cases, the labs will have capability we don't. They have hundreds of scientists, hundreds of engineers, state-of-the-art equipment. We've been able to recognize where those collaborations are fruitful and where they're going to grow and be able to take advantage of that. So the students get aware that they're in a competitive national environment and they can enjoy that environment but also see that they can achieve in that environment. 
they, they go there with some skills that they get from here and they're able to very quickly make contributions to the efforts going on there. It helps them understand what it takes to be a professional researcher you know, at the PhD level. And are sought after by those labs when they graduate. Um, some of them end up at those places, some of them end up elsewhere, but they've developed their own network from those collaborations so that they can then build their careers on those networks too. We as a country have to keep a broad portfolio of electricity sources and I think nuclear energy is clearly a player in all that. A national shared facility, that's the great opportunity for Wisconsin and Columbia and our other colleagues at UCLA to jump in and say the universities will have a strong presence here. The foundation of research we have with our collaborations into the national labs and industry really gives us access to the best people and even as the department evolves, we'll be attracting, still able to attract the best scientists to come and become our new faculty and maintain that strong foundation and breadth we have. So we think big, and I think as long as you continue to pass that on, right, then I think the department will continue to succeed and stay at that level that they've been at. We have been very lucky to have Max Carbman starting the program. He's always believed in his people first and helping those people be excellent and do excellent things, whatever they can imagine, whatever new ideas they can imagine, we try to help them achieve it. And that's really the future of our program. We started that way with excellent people trying to come up with innovative thoughts. We continue in that mold going forward. And I think if I were to say what's the legacy of this department is that people matter and their ideas need to be listened to and we try to help them make those ideas reality.